Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions, and today we're going to take a look at uh, erasing magnetic tapes. We're going to use a 9-track tape drive and also an LTO library. So all I want to first do is take a look at the whiteboard here and just go through why we want to erase the tape. So let me switch over to the board. And while I do that, um, perhaps you should consider liking and subscribing to the channel as that really makes a big difference to us. Okay. So you can see we're switched over to the uh, whiteboard now. And uh, what I want to first of all cover is obviously how to erase the tape. So the first point here really is the why. So why do you want to erase the tape? Normally with a tape, you can just overwrite it, carry on writing data straight over the top of the existing data. So really the only reason to erase the tape would come into um, destroying the data or to recycle the tape. So when it comes down to actually wiping the tape, we can actually use a magnet. If you click here, I'll put a link up somewhere about here. Um, you can see what happens when you actually take a magnet to a tape and how it destroys the data. Now you can get an industrial um, magnet called a degausser, which will actually completely erase the tape. However, when you come to using enterprise tapes and LTO tapes, they have on the actual tape what they call a servo control track. So if you imagine the length of tape, is something like this, and you've got sort of the beginning of the tape, sort of BOT, and EOT, end of tape. Down the middle of the tape, you tend to have this little pattern. It goes all the way down. And this is used by the drive to actually know whereabouts this tape is actually positioned in relation to the tape heads. Then the data tracks are written down here on the tape and then the bottom. So if we actually take a magnet to the tape, what we actually achieve is completely uh, scrambling all of this uh, data here, including the actual uh, servo uh, control tracks, which basically renders the tape useless um, and in essence destroys the tape. So move on quickly. So some of the other options then could come down to actually uh, using maybe a specific tape eraser. So here you can get uh, drives that are specially adapted uh, where you can actually load the cartridge in and it will go through and actually overwrite all of the data, erasing it. Alternatively, you can actually shred the tape. In this case, it literally shreds it into lots of little pieces. The problem with that is you end up with lots of strips of tape that still contain data. So in that case, it may make sense to degauss first, then erase the tape to ensure it's destroyed. Now, if the tape's encrypted, the encryption T would normally stay with the drive and the server that's wrote the actual tape, in which case, the data then on the tape is completely useless without that key. And as long as you're using a strong encryption, um, it's virtually, uh, well, should be unretrievable. So let's jump into this. What I'm first of all going to do is show a uh, quick erase um, on a nine track tape and also on the LTO drive. Um, we've got a Windows machine. Uh, with Windows 11 on, and we've actually got SIGWIN along with MTX loaded on there. So we can actually control the robotic library, load the tape into the drive, and then use the MT command, which is part of SIGWIN, to actually issue uh, commands to the drive. So we will do that on Windows. And I've also got the 9-track reel-to-reel tape drive hooked up to a Linux machine, where we'll also take a look at that. And this is quite good because you can actually see the drive moving back and forwards we can actually see what's happening with the tape heads and the uh, tape, um, which gives an idea of what's actually going on inside a LTO drive. We're also then going to look at using and doing a full erase with MT. Now, a quick warning here, if you do this on an LTO drive, you're liable for this to take five to six hours to complete, as the drive will write to the complete cartridge. But uh, let's jump into it and we'll take a look. Okay, we're back. We're connected up now. See over here, I've got the uh, nine track tape drive. 
and I've got the Linux command shell here and we've got the tape device which is ST0 so the first thing I'm going to do um, here is just rewind the tape and what we'll do is just do the quick erase first of all which now we're at the end of the tape we can just say write end of file and you'll see this is just write a file mark you see on the screen there on the actual tape driver said write fm a file mark and now basically if i was to um, do a dd input file well first of all let me uh, rewind the tape if i say dd input file slash dev slash nst0 out file equals demo txt we'll see straight away no records in nothing's come back because we actually wrote on the very start of the tape nothing there now this doesn't actually wipe the tape so the way to quickly erase the tape or to fully erase the tape is to actually uh, issue this command with erase and we'll let that run and what we'll see now is uh, you can see the drivers forward spacing erasing and this is going to go right the way through the tape so you'll see that take a little while now with an LTO tape or with a larger tape this will take even longer an LTO drive could take five six maybe even seven hours um, to actually fully erase um, I've done a test here on my LTO drive it took about five and a half hours to erase an LTO 7 tape so let's come back in a minute when this is near the end of the tape okay so we're almost uh, rewind we should find is the uh, BOT tape mark should go by in a minute and the drive virtually stop there we go I don't know if you notice there's a little silver flash in the uh, top of the uh, drive as it went by which is actually the uh, tape marker there anyway so we're now back at uh, beginning of the tape what I can do is actually issue a rewind and the tape's already rewind and if we were to do a status we can see we're at block zero so that's how you completely erase the tape now I did say earlier on that we can actually do the quick erase but if we do that it's possible to get data back so let me have a quick look here I think I've got a couple of uh, test documents so I've got a uh, demo, um, let me go into okay okay let's have a look here I've got a file um, called text.txt okay. this is about uh, a couple of megabytes roughly that's uh, a couple of k in fact so we've got a file here that's a 2.9k so what I'm going to do is actually write this out to the tape drive using dd so if I do dd if I say the input file is text.txt if I don't say the block size is 512 bytes and the output file is going to be dev st st0 um, st0 will automatically rewind let's do this and run this what we see is we're going to write that file to the uh, drive okay that's done and it's going to automatically rewind as we see so we can see there we've actually wrote um, 5,694 records plus the file mark. And so it's actually 2.9 megabytes we wrote there. So what I'm going to do onto the tape, I'm going to use MT and choose up arrow here. And make sure it's going in. We are. And now I'm going to write, write in the file mark. So by rewinding and typing, writing in the file mark, 
that's the quick way to erase a tape. So if I was now to use DD, and we will say the input file is now the tape drive, and the output file will be read back txt. And let's run this command. Well, I've actually done here is because I didn't rewind the tape again. You can actually see is we're actually reading all of the data. So I'm just going to terminate this. And if I actually now issue a rewind, rewind. Okay, so we're back at the beginning of the tape. So now let me run the dd command yet again. You can see it actually read zero records in. But what I can actually do with the drive in MT is I can say forward space records one. It failed, but because we've not rewind, the tape's actually moved past the end of file mark. So what I can actually do now is issue this read command again. And what we'll see now is we can actually read the entire tape, all of the data, bar what we've deleted off the start by writing a file mark, back. I'll come back in a second when this is done. Okay, so we can see it's completed here. So you can see here, even writing a file mark, we actually only lost uh, 12 512 byte records from the file because um, we managed to read back um, 5682 records so you can see with a quick erase it doesn't actually get rid of the data at all so let's uh, change over to windows 11 and we'll have a quick look at the lto drive and just show you the same commands using sigwin back in a minute okay welcome back we're connected to windows 11 on the Windows 11 machine, I'm just going to Device Manager, show our setup. So we've actually got a, a couple of uh, LTO7 tape drives, and these are actually inside a uh, Quantum iScaler i3 library. So on Windows 11 here, we've got the MTX command, uh, which we can use with command prompt to load cartridges in the library. And for the Unix utilities or the ways to issue the same Unix commands under Windows to the block device, we've installed Sigwin. Um, if you'd like to learn how to install both of those, take a look at the earlier videos in the series. Um, I'll put a couple of links up above here as well for you to click on so you can learn how to set the machine up like this. So I've already loaded a tape into the drive. Um, if I actually do a um, status um, we can see that uh, tape one or st1 here is actually at the beginning of the tape so again to do a quick erase on this tape all we would do initially is issue a rewind rewind the tape and then we would write end of file and as quick as that uh, we then wrote a file mark to the tape, which will then basically actually stop us from reading back any data. So if I was to rewind the tape again, and we can then do a dd and say input file equals dev slash st1. The difference between nst1 and st1 is the n is basically no rewind, so it doesn't actually rewind after the operation. And uh, we'll say output file equals demo lto.txt. And we can see we've actually read zero records back there because it's straight away it's found the uh, file mark or end of file. Now, to actually fully erase the tape, we can issue a rewind and the command to erase, we can actually say erase. Now, it is possible with erase to put a zero on here, uh, which should signify. Um, a quick erase. Um, this again still takes a very long time. And I'm not actually going to run this because it will take over five hours to complete on the LT07. And once you run this command, you cannot abort it because it basically issues the command to the drive 
um, and tells the drive to erase the whole tape. So even rebooting the machine um, doesn't abort this. So you've been warned. Now, what we will do though on the tape, now we've got it rewind, is uh, I think I've got a text file here. Um, and I have, let's uh, do a quick look here. Look at cat on tape.txt. So I've got some uh, text here. And what I'll basically do is just write that text out to the LTL. Again, so if we do dd, and we'll say the input file is going to be tape.txt, and we'll say the block size, again, 512. Normally you'd have a much bigger block size, but I want lots of records on the uh, tape. And the out file is going to be slash dev slash st1, and we'll say go. So this will transfer that to the tape. Take a few seconds. Okay, so you can see we've wrote uh, 28 kilobytes there, which was uh, 54 records. So, what I'm going to now do is uh, read the tape back in. So if I do dd input file equals slash dev slash st1, out file equals um, read demo 16. You see, I've read that back. Again, these drives do have um, about a gigabyte of uh, cache on there. So in essence, I don't think the tape's probably moved at all. It's probably all come from RAM chips. So what we'll just do is a quick uh, cat on read demo.txt. So you can see we've got the file back. So let's, first of all, rewind the tape. So f slash dev slash st1 rewind. So what I'm going to do now is write end of file. Okay, so that's written. We'll just issue a rewind again. And now if I try and do the dd read demo 2, straight away we get nothing back because we're at the end of the tape or end of file. Let's try and forward space, forward space record uh, 10. And we'll actually put this with no rewind. Okay, so now what we'll try and do is issue a dd command on here. And again, we can see with the RTO, the firmware and the drive doesn't actually let us get past that end of file marker. But again, the data is still on the tape. And obviously, to get that data back is possible um, with specialist uh, recovery equipment. So the only secure way of erasing this tape is to degauss it, shred it, or to run a full erase on there. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any uh, suggestions of things you'd like to see us try or do, do comment below, get in touch, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much.